toi qui vends des costumes. Virtuellement Ah non. En fait, on se met devant. Et euh, c'est comme si on, on était habillé. Bonjour, je suis Steve, je suis un nîme en Southern France. Ah oui, Au revoir, Steve. Dans une semaine, ils vont ouvrir leur long awaité musée de la culture romaine. Et tu sais, j'ai juste été tourné dans ce nouveau musée, grâce aux guides et aux gens dans la ville hall ici. And they're practically putting it together because in one week it's open. It's been a project in the works for 20 years, but it reminds me of the of the history. They just dig down. I mean, this is built literally on the foundations of the Roman wall, and they were as they were digging uh, for the underground parking lot, they discovered mosaics. I mean, they actually you can kind of see them up there, but the mosaics they discovered when they're digging the parking lot. And they're just everywhere you look in these great cities. There's mosaics they discovered. Uh, you find these treasures from antiquity 2,000 years ago. And it's kind of exciting to go to a museum and to see, oh, here's where that's going to go. And they've got little photocopies of each of those exhibits. They've got like 20,000 different uh, pieces from their archive that they're going to be displaying 5,000 at a time in, uh, in new technology where they'll have uh, interactive displays and uh, videos that highlight the, the uh, I forget the word, but you know, carving Latin onto the stones 2,000 years ago. Apparently Nice has one of the very best collections of Latin inscribed on stone. But this is just a reminder that when we travel, yeah, you spend 10 or 15 bucks to go into these museums day after day, but this is how we appreciate from where we came so many centuries ago. All over Europe, they're spending lots of money working very hard to share their patrimony, their history, their cultural treasures with us travelers. Enjoy it. Happy travels.